Hey guys, I'm Victor and today I'll be sharing something very interesting with you guys. It's the all new razor blade. So, um, just get it out. So, um, it's supposed to come in green, but uh, I'll do it blue. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. So this is the actual razor blade. Um, this is a razor blade, 14 inch. So, um, I'll get through the specs with you guys first. Processor, it's running uh, Intel Core i7. Uh, 4702HQ, uh, which is 4th uh, gen uh, as well, quite core definitely. Uh, in terms of GPU, it's running uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 765M. Memory, 8GB uh, of RAM. Uh, storage, I went with 128GB. Uh, you have an option of uh, 256 or 512 SSD. So, um, operating system, Windows 8.1. But uh, if you are a Windows 7 user, and you like Windows 7, you can change it, no problem. And the major downside that everyone is uh, making a fuss about, it's the resolution. It's actually a 1600 by 900 display. And if you are aware of uh, what I've been using uh, for the past three years, my Sony Vio CW series, it's, it's running the same exact uh, screen resolution. So it's not really an upgrade and that's quite sad. But, in terms of specs, it's a major uh, uh, jump, a major upgrade, so I'm fine with that. And as for the price of this beast, it's not cheap I would say. It's a premium gaming laptop, it's not available in Malaysia, I have to get it from uh, Singapore. So, after the exchange rate, it is definitely not cheap, that's what I would say. So that's that, I'll get to the unboxing right now. So. When you first open it, you get a box within a box. Uh, it's all for the safety of the blade while shipping. So you have uh, foam protecting all the edges. Just remove that. So um, if you're familiar with Razer, you will know that they are extremely, extremely uh, good at uh, packaging. So Look at this, super badass, with the neon green uh, razor signature color. So open that up, first thing you would see is the razor blade. So as I said, it's a 14 inch uh, razor blade. I didn't get the razor blade pro because I didn't find much use in the switch blade UI which is uh, the, sp the specialty of the razor blade pro the 17 inch one so right uh, what you get first is typical razor booklets I'll run you through with it first you'll get a certificate of authenticity uh, congratulations there's no turning back blah 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 all the good stuff Razer Synapse 2.0 um, The blade User guide um, More guide <laughs> And of course, the sticker And the interesting thing is You get a cloth And it's actually a pretty decent cloth You get blade and the Razer logo Hope you can see it <laughs> So uh, the reason they included this Is because the blade itself is um, it's very very vulnerable to fingerprints so that's that for the booklets let's chuck that aside and the next thing you will see is the charger so uh, Razer claimed that they spent uh, twice the amount of time for any other company in their charger because they have um, redesign their power brick into a really really small form factor because there's no point in getting a super slim uh, super portable laptop but with a super bulky power brick so that defeats the purpose I'll just have a side to side comparison for you guys uh, this is an iPhone 5 so this should give you a slight idea of how big it is and in terms of thickness 
Uh, my iPhone 5 is actually wearing a bumper, but the bumper is super slim. So, yeah, you should get the idea. So that's that. I'll head to the start of the shoot, which is the razor blade itself. Open it up. Oh yeah. So. It's a full aluminium chassis Extremely beautiful um, I'll just run you through on the connections that it has On the right side of the blade, you get a H HDMI out uh, For external display since the resolution is the major downside So you, at least you get to hook, hook it up to um, a full HD uh, screen So that's a, a great, great option uh, and then you get a uh, USB 3, uh, which is green, awesome touch. And this side, uh, at the left, you get two more uh, USB 3, which is also green. Uh, uh, power input, and of course, uh, audio and mic jack, which is integrated into one. <laughs> if you didn't know how thin it is, this should give you a, a fair amount of idea. It's 0.66 inches thin so it's thinner than a uh, standing dime which is also thinner than a uh, 10 cent uh, Malaysian ringgit uh, 10 cent another iPhone comparison nice super nice right so I just turn this bad boy up and if you didn't know, it, the logo lights up like uh, a MacBook. So you see here. Ah, so it lights up. First and foremost, uh, keyboard. Fully customizable. A typical uh, Razer keyboard style where you get to customize every key through a Synapse 2.0. And of course, it's backlit. And uh, features a multi touch trackpad, uh, reason reasonably big and it has the two uh, actual buttons a, a better uh, experience if you're using it for gaming so um, in terms of display yeah it's a 1600 by 900 display which everyone's bashing uh, the blade uh, about and to be honest uh, seeing it in real life that means not true videos it's actually reason quite reasonable I mean I've really low expectations since I watch tons of reviews but it's not that poor actually probably because I have really low expectation but uh, it actually uh, surprised me so it's uh, reasonably clear and since I'm not I'm actually not using it for gaming uh, primarily I'm using it more for my studies I'm an architecture student if you didn't know so I'll be using it to run a 3D Max a Revit a AutoCAD and those uh, like SketchUp and stuff. I also uh, edit videos, so I'll be running uh, Premiere Pro, um, After Effects, uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, and stuff like that. So um, yes, for video editing, I really uh, need a good display, but I plan on getting an uh, external monitor, so that should do the job. And as for gaming-wise, it's actually better because you get uh, better frame rates in native resolution and since the native resolution is 1600 by 900 you should get better frame rates so that should wrap up uh, this unboxing video if you want any more co uh, comments on it um, you can uh, just leave a comment and I'll reply as soon as possible so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to uh, the channel and don't forget to check out Turtle TV. So that should be it. Thank you.